the tea bag squeezers do struggle and that's a sentence that I never thought I'd hear myself say. So I've bought a few bits recently from Go Outdoors. I'm calling this video a mini haul because I've only got six or seven items to show you. Just to be clear, this is all stuff that I've chosen and bought with my own money. I'm not sponsored by Go Outdoors or anything like that. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I've got. So the first thing was this Berghouse fleece. It's called a M Hartsop FZ. It's lightweight and it's got two zip pockets on the front. It's a full zip fleece. It is lightweight, it's quite a thin material, but I wanted it for sort of dog walks, morning walks in springtime and summertime where you don't need a coat, but you just need a layer to keep you a bit warmer. I'll use it in the winter as well as a sort of mid layer, but it feels really nice, fits really well. I went for that in an extra large and I'd say that's true to size. And that was 29 pounds. So as fleeces go, there are cheaper out there, but this one feels really nice. It's not staticky or anything like that. A lot of the cheaper ones, you get loads of static on them and they just stick to you all the time. The next thing I got was these Crag Hoppers trousers and they are Kiwis. So they're Kiwi trousers, relaxed fit. They're not stretchy or anything, but because of their relaxed fit, they are quite baggy. They do zip off just above the knee as well, so you can convert them into shorts. They've got side pockets. I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but it, it's a Velcro fastening on the side pocket. Then inside, you've got this elasticated separate pocket, which I'm assuming is to put a knife or your phone or something like that in to stop it jumping straight back out. I mean, you've got a decent sized pocket around that as well. There's two pockets on the front. There's a main one and then a zip pocket behind it as well. On the right hand side and the same on the left as well. So you've got four pockets on the front, two zip pockets on the back. They come with a belt as well, but I usually replace that belt because it's not great, but it'll do the job if it's all you've got. So they cost me £19.97. And the reason I bought those is I'll probably use them mostly as shorts because at that price, they are around the price of a pair of shorts anyway. And I find those crack off the kiwis quite comfortable so that was it for clothing if we have a look at the bits of gear i got the first thing you might have seen in a previous video is this euro hike tamar 2 tent so i went for a wild camp with that it cost me 39 pound and as i keep saying i did get the 15 percent off as well but for 39 quid for that as a starter tent you really can't go wrong i also got the euro hike nepal 65 rucksack at the same time that cost me 25 pound and that's the rucksack that i used to take while camping with that cheaper setup and again i think that's fine it'll last you it feels really well built and if you're just getting into wild camping definitely something that you should look at so next up i got myself a second bcb stove this was only one pound 47 so i thought why not basically i have got one that i've used in quite a few of my videos before i use it mainly on day hikes and throw it in my day bag i just thought i'd grab another one because of the price and because i can just leave one in my day bag and have one for my camps in my other bag and I'm lazy. It didn't come with any fuel or anything, but I've got loads of that already. And I'll just keep that in my day bag with three of the fuel blocks inside it, ready to go. The next thing I thought I'd have a look at was a Freedom Trail flannel pillow. This was only two quid. It's 30 centimeters by 24 centimeters, and it says it's four centimeters deep. I've been looking at these sort of filled pillows recently because they are really comfortable. This one's quite small to be fair. It's just black with a Freedom Trail logo on it. Didn't feel that great to be fair. There's hardly any stuffing inside there, but then it was two quid, so what did I expect? Um, yeah, probably one of those impulse purchases that I probably should have just ignored. To be honest, on my last couple of camps, I haven't taken a pillow. I've just used a dry bag and stuffed it with a couple of clothes if I've needed to. And the mat that I used on my last camp had a built-in raised bit and I found that I didn't need an extra pillow with that. If you do want a tiny pillow with hardly any stuffing in it, definitely go for one of those. Otherwise, just avoid it. Next thing I got was a high gear travel chopping board. It's really thin, really lightweight. Can't remember how much this was, so I'll put the price on the screen. But I thought as something to just slide down the back of my day bag or my rucksack, this would be really handy because I do want to start doing a bit more cooking while I'm out. And something like this is ideal for preparing food and getting ready to chuck it in your pan. I also grabbed a set of tongs. So this is a three piece set, all different sizes. But the reason I bought this was, let me open it up, more for this smaller set. So again, you might have seen or heard me talk on previous videos about the metal tea bag squeezers that I've been using. And they've been fine. They're really good for sort of bacon and smaller things like that. But if you're moving on to burgers and steaks and bigger, heavier things for cooking, the tea bag squeezers do struggle. And that's a sentence that I never thought I'd hear myself say. This set was four quid for the three. 
and I thought if I could have a go with this small set, again, just throw them in my bag. They're really light, but they do feel like I'll be able to grab bigger stuff with them versus the tea bag squeezers. So I'll take them out on my next camp, give them a go and report back. They do all slot together as well. If you're feeling adventurous, you could go for the middle set. You know, if you're going for a group camp or camping with a few people and you've got a lot of food to take, or if you're going for campsite camping or you want to use the bigger one, maybe for your barbecue at home or something like that, then you've got that option as well. And that's all I've got this time from Go Outdoors. I have got loads more hauls, camps and gear reviews coming up. So if this is the kind of stuff that tickles your pickle, consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.